Sometimes we think we need to connect a pop-up to a text title, image, or a link on your website that it will connect to a specific pop-up that will display to your users, whether it's an image or a video, just like this one. And I want to show you here, even though I have an image and a video inside this pop-up, I want to show you another way which we'll be using a light box like this one. So without further ado, let's dive right in. When I'm here over in the edit page, what I did here, I have two titles and inside two columns inside a section, and they are both centered. Now, one of them, I have connected the link over here to a pop-up. Now, the pop-up, I've set it up this way, which will be toggle pop-up, and then I set it up the video image pop-up. Now, if I'll head over to the pop-up itself, you'll be able to see here that it's a normal template, and when I edit it, you'll be able to see a video and an image. As you can see right here, I have a sample video and an image that I just implemented into this pop-up. It's a simple pop-up. I haven't stylized it in a certain way. Now, the problem here is that if I will want to connect a pop-up specifically for this text or specifically for this link, and I have some other links that I want to connect a specific pop-up with a specific video, with a specific image, I will need to create a lot of pop-ups and it is a lot of work for me. Now, the other solution for that, you would want to create a light box. Now, the way that you do it is very simple. You go to the title, the image, the whatever you want to connect to this light box. And the way that you do it is this. You will head over to the link. Now, I will disconnect it so you'll be able to see the whole process. So you'll head over to the dynamic tags. You scroll down a little bit until you see the light box under actions right beneath the pop up. So you connect the light box and then you click the light box and you'll be able to see you have two options. You have the video option and the image option. Now, it is up to you what do you want to connect now when you open up the image option you'll be able to see that you'll be able to connect a specific image out of your media library so you want to click it and then you want to just connect the image that you want to in my case it will be this one and then you just click select and you're good to go and the same thing would apply if you want to apply it for a video so you head over again to your light box and then you switch it to video and then you simply put the video url in my case it would be this url and then you just click out of that and then you click update now the next time that you would want to click the link itself you'll be greeted with the video itself as you can see right now the same thing if you go back and then you switch it to the image you'll be able to see the same thing now we have the cover image over here but the same process would apply you just go click the link itself and then you'll be greeted with image itself i think that this process is much simpler and saves you a lot of time instead of going creating each pop-up for each video image or what have you that's what i wanted to share with you in this video and i really hope this video helped you and if it did i'd be really glad to if you leave a thumbs up make sure you subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any video that i post on this channel whether it's on woocommerce elementor or wordpress and as always i'll be seeing you in the next one